Welcome to the new section, Distributed Computing with Dask. In this section, we'll discuss about the distributed computing capabilities of Dask. So the first topic in this section is Overview of Distributed Computing with Dask. We'll discuss about the various capabilities of how Dask handles distributed computing. And then we'll discuss about Dask versus Apache Spark. So let's get started. As we have discussed previously many times, Dask has the ability to scale over a cluster of nodes. The best part about Dask is that the code that you have written that can run parallelly using the multiple cores on your single system can be automatically scaled over a distributed cluster of Dask nodes. It is very easy to set up a Dask cluster which we'll see in the subsequent videos. And it also has a lot of features like data sharing between workers. This ensures that uh, there is no network bottleneck because of the fact that data does not go through the master node. It also has low latency and support for complex scheduling tasks and is very, very easy to set up. The component of Dask which actually deals with distributed computing is the Dask.distributed library. So this is a lightweight library that extends the Dask APIs and collections for distributed computing over a cluster of nodes. Just like uh, Dask has a separate library for machine learning like Dask ML, this is a separate part of Dask, a separate library, Dask.distributed. In the subsequent videos, we'll discuss about how to set up a cluster and uh, how your different partitions affect the data sharing between workers, etc. Now let's move on to Dask versus Apache Spark. So this is a very common question like if you have Apache Spark already in place for big data, why would you need Dask? Well, both of them have their own use cases. Spark is more of like an all-in-one solution for big data processing. Whereas Dask is a lightweight library. If your use case is complex for which Spark does not provide an out-of-the-box solution, then Dask can help you in that situation. Spark is written in Scala and Java and is more suited for those languages. Whereas Dask is more suited for pure Python. Dask can easily interoperate with other Python libraries like scikit-learn, numpy, pandas, etc. In fact, it was these libraries that were kept in mind when uh, Dask was being developed. I mean, the idea was that since these libraries don't scale well, Dask was meant to be a bridge between distributed computing with these libraries. For more information, you can refer the link mentioned at the end for information about the comparison about Dask and Spark on a more technical details. So the authors of the Dask have tried to answer this question from a technical standpoint in more detail. For reference, you can refer these links for more information, which are excellent resources on the distributed capabilities of Dask and uh, how it compares with uh, Apache Spark and uh, other uh, frameworks.